One of the number one questions I get asked while doing my refining, showing you guys the focus refining videos and all that is how I source all my raw materials, whether I gather them myself, buy them off of Discord, off of private sellers or whatnot. So I thought I'd take a chance during the stream, show you guys how I get the amount of resources required to refine all of the, you see all the five, three I refine, all the six, two I refine. People are always wondering how I find this many raw materials. So I thought I'd take this chance, show you guys how to do that. But before the video, I am giving away a transport mammoth on Twitch to one lucky viewer. So if you'd like a chance to come over to Twitch and win that mammoth, you have until August 16th to get an entry for that. So you have the month to earn channel points and get yourself in the raffle to win that mammoth. But other than that, here is how I source my raw materials. All right, so few people actually understand transmuting. So we'll take a second to show you guys. So if you come here, you have all of the resources. I just, I did that pretty quick. You have the refining, which everybody sees, blah, blah, blah. Refining resources. If you look below that, you actually have a transmuting button. If you look at transmuting, you can look at the resources and every single resource has a silver price where if you click on it, you can see the amount of silver that it costs you to transmute said resource. Now you always want to use recipe number two. Recipe number one is for going up in, in like up enchanted tiers. You never want to go up tiers when you're transmuting. The only time you'll do that is going from 7-0 to 8-0. For everything else, you want to go across in enchant, which is the second recipe. So instead of doing 4-2 to 5-2, you do 5-1 to 5-2, you enchant it. You come here and really easily, you just look at the amount of silver a resource costs to transmute. So for this, we'll be looking at 6-2. So we see it's 4420 to transmute it and then all you have to do for that so you want to focus or find a bunch of six two you go and you look at what the price of six one on the market is so we'll grab the six one just as an example we'll head over to the market now again, I only focus refine tier eight equivalents. So if you are transmuting minimum, I do tier eight equivalents. So like five, three, six, two, seven, one. This helps you out a ton with sourcing those materials. So I'll come to the market and all we have to do is look at the price of six, one and add it to the 4420 we had from before. So if we come look six one, you can buy order it for about 3,200, but we'll use 3,300 each. That's about what you can instant buy it for. And that gives you 7720. Now, if we compare that to the price of six two hide, you can see 7890. So not only is it way easier to buy order six one, but in reality, it's actually cheaper than buy ordering or than purchasing six two. Now you could buy order it slightly cheaper, but as you can see, barely any of it buy orders. So you're never going to be able to buy order tens of thousands of 6-2 off the market. So say you want to refine tens of thousands of 6-2 focus wise with your alts. You just buy the 6-1 and like as I showed you there, you check the price of the transmuting. Now a lot of people will also say like, oh hey, I don't have my own plot stuff like that. Now it is better in the long run if you are doing this a huge quantity to get your own plot on the island, my map's bugged, to get your own plot on the island just to save, you know, a bit here or there. But keep in mind, a plot does cost about six to seven million silver, so to build, and about 10 million silver, so to build on east, seven million on west. So if you're only doing a small amount, it's not really worth buying your own building. But if we come here, Look at transmuting, even on a public plot, as you saw, it was 4420 on the island. I'm only paying 50 silver extra to use the city. And that's at 1500 tax. If the taxes are low, less than 1000, like the usual 400, 500 tax on West, I would not worry at all about paying a transmute cost. But I do have my own plot, so we'll head over to the island. Now keep in mind, you can do this with any resource in the game. It doesn't have to be hide. The only resource that doesn't have transmuting, like enchant, is stone. 
which most of the time you're not going to be focused or finding anyway. Typically stay away from stone, just do the other four. And you can see, come here, say you want to focus, refine a stack of 6-2. Just click transmute and you can see it'll take the silver from my inventory. Now, if you do have a plot on your island, you really won't save any silver because yes, you don't have to pay for the market tax to the plot owner, but you do have to feed the plot. And I can show you guys, as far as feeding the plot goes, if you look at the food, so to feed tanners, you use chicken pies. And if I come here to chicken pie, you can see one chicken pie is, you look at the nutrition, 78 nutrition. Because it's the favorite food of the tanner, it doubles. So you take 78 times two, you get 156. That's the nutrition per pie. And then you just have to divide that by the price. So I bought these for 660 each. Take 660 divided by 156 and you end up with 4.23. That is the tax, the equivalent tax of what you would be paying for feeding your own food. So 423. But as we saw, the extra price was relatively nothing for 1500. It was about 40 silver. So having the having your own plot to transmute on would save you for 62 only about 30 silver per transmute. So when you're paying, you know, 7 8000 per, paying an extra 30 isn't terrible. But like I said, if you have the extra silver and you're doing it in huge quantities, you can buy your own plot and uh, save it a little bit and eventually be able to pay off that 8 million or so that you sunk into the plot. Thank mm -hmm. you.